They'll say, I've swallowed a toothbrush or whatever, just to get a free ride to the hospital. And for us, they don't like it because we were able to get those two body scanners, which really has helped tremendously. And not just from the inmate, but it keeps their staff integrity where we'll do randomly put staff through. But then also when we have visitors come in, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's family members or whether it's an attorney, if they're coming inside that secure facility, they're going through the same body scanner. And uh, it's really cut down the amount of contraband and illegal drugs and cell phones that are coming into our facility or that were coming into our facility. Well, you know, that's my step too, because we've already instituted changes in the way we screen people coming in the back door of the jail, but phase two is acquiring those body scanners so that we can maintain the focus uh, for those screenings on what it should be, and that is finding the contraband each and every time. Absolutely. And you know, another thing those body scanners that's helped our medical department is, as you well know, occasionally inmates will get stressed out, so they'll swallow something, whether it be a toothbrush, you name it, they'll try to swallow it to get out, you know, figure, well, they'll let me out, please. Exactly. And a lot of times, unfortunately, they'll say, I've swallowed a toothbrush, or whatever, just to get a free ride to the hospital, or maybe to try to escape. Well, they can't do that anymore with the body scanner because it's either maybe they're done or they haven't. So right. it's cut down a lot of those incidents. Every day we're dealing with murderers, gangbangers, and inmates who have severe mental illness. 